Hello again everyone. Okay, so today we're going back into looking at RPG Maker. <clears throat> the last episode we went through um, how to lay a chest, how to set up towns, um, setting random monsters, there's random events, how to do um, actual monster events. We can actually see the mobs on screen. Um, so and basically we went through adding maps databases and everything so what we're going to do is we're actually going to start a project so what we're going to do is file a new project now I'm going to call this project 2 And the game title will be Ah uh, This sucks. And we put it to our download folder just to make it up. So again it's gonna copy everything across it needs to. And while that's doing that, give a big shout out to SR Dude who has done a load of plugins which I have um, downloaded to add into this to make life a lot easier. We can customize menus, create a new summoner class, which is what we're going to be using today. Um, basically, we're going to be creating the characters for our game and setting up our monsters. Um, we're not going to be doing any maps or anything, it's just purely going to be character creation. And then we can generate and build on that or in each episode. So once this has gone across, we will have to copy the plugins across and add them in. I'll show you how to do that as well. I'll also leave some links in the description for SR Dude site uh, YouTube page. Um, just if anyone wants to go, he's the main man. <laughs> if you want to learn how to use this program properly, as I'm just a noob, I'm beyond noob. It's newbie of the noob. So it's putting all the basic stuff in. You can download. Um, extra stuff off the steam workshops uh, monsters uh, game stuff and then um, the community program uh, sites usually give you links to other areas as well you can also do the downloads you can get the dlc pack for it as well So that's done right at that. Just gonna go in and make sure it has put <coughs> the main so where you would go to check is I have to remember this one here. So it's JS folder and then plugins and that's all the S SRD ones as the ones that downloaded off SR dude um, and I'll show you the tool as well 
So it is. Tools, plugin manager. So if you don't want the made with um, MV title screen come up with a start of your game, you just turn that off. Go down to a new line, click edit, and it'll list everything in that folder in here. So what we're going to do is You've got some that needs to be higher priority, and you can tell that when it loads up. It'll say this needs this to run, this needs this to run. Um, so, what we're going to do is we are going to put a battle GUI coin. That means you can change the battle screen, the character creator. Um, go window customizer hold me again oh. and what we want is a super tools engine and also some column. Some of the bat languages. So there's a couple on this one should go before there. Why you'll get an error message. So what that does <coughs> is if we could play test uh, yeah. So you don't get the little <laughs> You literally can't do anything, you've just got the bog standard bits and bobs. So if we load back up, press F12, it loads up the Super Tools engine. And you've got a menu editor. You can basically put this anywhere you like. I'm just going to turn that music off. Yeah, that's better. <laughs> so, yeah, the menu editor allow you to change this. So, if you wanted to make this less visible, you would put it on, I don't know, say 20. And it goes down. You can put that to zero if you want, so you can't see anything, but it doesn't matter. Um, the width of this, you put that up to say 400. Visible bores, you can put one. Max columns three if you wanted to put them like that. And then you move this anywhere you like. I'm going to keep that central line text center, doesn't matter for that one. Refresh window, turn it in, go to options, uh, quick save, and that'll save your, your settings there. Right, so kit.
display and create um, get actors and everything but we're going to use the actual database so um, we'll just ignore that so that's actually set that up now we'll cancel that off Okay, so this episode, I know it's gone on a bit, <laughs> we are going to remove the default ones and set up our new ones. So what we're going to do is click on the database item and the first tab you come to or the first area is the actors. And well, we can keep the four um, names if you want to go in and change the names oh I want a total magic party um, to make it a bit more evil so what we're going to do is class this as oh yeah we have to create the classes uh, for the summer okay I'll ah, we'll do that in a bit. So we'll create this as um, oh names names. Profile um uh, sleazy git. No. You can put whatever you like in there if you want a backstory, yeah, that's fine. And the face you can choose for the actors, there's three lots of actor classes. I see which one, ah, he looks like a right sleaze bag. Uh. So, you set the fears, you set the name. You can change this in a start mode level 10 or 5 or whatever you want, but probably you just want level 1. And he can set the initial equipments. So, there's no initial traits because they're set in hero class. Okay, so we'll leave these for now, but we will come back. The reason why is because you can change all this. You can't change anything. So if you try to do that, change that, it won't let you because they're not in the traits. Uh, it's not in the traits for the class to use anything other than that. So we'll go through and do these. Uh, we'll keep the majors as they are. But I want to add because we're doing a summoner class I want to add some extra ones so we're going to add a summoner named death now oh we ain't no hero um <laughs> yeah he definitely looks like a necromancer type to me Okay, so we'll have to go to actors. That sucks. 
Um, Okay, we'll leave that for now because we've got to go and set up the rest and here we're going to set up some summering summer uh, some actors to summon <laughs> or monsters in this case so we're going to have start off with skellies we'll leave that for now because we'll add the new class with new abilities uh, monster character monster Do I have to add them in? That's about backgrounds. Hmm. Why is that just showing the actor stuff? Should be. Why that for now? Next one is Ghost. Go up and do Ogre. I won't do Wizard actually. Should do some pseudo ones. Uh, let's follow the end to drag out, drag in.
that's more than mine at all. That's when I got what I will look at them. Um, that's all got four actors. We got that. And now I know to create the classes. So the hero class is for our main hero, but it's not going to be we're going to create a new one. So all we need to do is go to types. the skill types change the maximum and type in summon apply go out classes Now we're going to put and we're going to add summon. So the skill type is going to be magic. Now this is where it gets a bit tasty so we're going to go edit equip and you're going to give him anything he can use so we'll give him Ken light armor I think he's already got light armor we'll go magic armor Scheme ain't gonna be used to you can use gloves. So once you've done that, you put skills to the line. My level one skills to get automatically. So that'll be fire. Oh, I haven't done the skills yet. Yeah. Well, let me go back. Fire that.
So yeah, <laughs> what we're going to have is we're going to have to set up all of the spells and everything. Change the maximum. And I'm gonna to have to add at least five. So what we're gonna do is because a necromancer or something like that is gonna be more drain, health drain, and unholy attacks and anything else. We're gonna kind of set them up. So for a start one we're going to have blast. And choose an icon for it. Probably one do. Um, because it's a level one spell. He inset all the individual ones. Uh, now this one occasionally it's how often you can use it or where you can use it. Um, always means you can use it at any time on the board. So you, you need you can use that for like healing spells and stuff, but mainly it'll be battle screen only. Uh, speed at which he does it. That is, yeah, how quick he, he performs the spell. I, it doesn't make any difference to a turn based game, but again, how often it repeats once. If you're doing like mobile, then you can do a repeats on it, a success chance is 100%. Certain hit, um, you can put a magical attack. Certain attacks I would leave for specials where you. That's like you, you will always hit the enemy. These are determined on the defense, magic defense or physical defense, depending. And you set down animation, so we're going to go with. Um, go with poison one. Gonna be no required weapon for the spell. Damage is gonna be hit point drain. Hit point I'll do hit point damage. Darkness on. So, I'll just apply this for now. All we're going to do, we're going to copy this. So, this is the formula. So, plus 100 is the damage. Uh, magic attack A is your player, B is your enemy. And then, magic defense is times. I think that's how you divide by your times by. If you want to write it out, you can. <laughs> and you can set up a, it, you set to do critical hits with chance. You can do that. That's no problem. And you can also do an effect. So on a drain, you can do that to recover HP on yourself, or recover. Uh, So what we're going to do is going to do Was that on you? I want to follow that for now. 
So this is not a summon spell, so click apply. So we've got blast there. So we'll go back to our actors. Uh, this is a really weird one. Definitely. See that's now summoner. Click apply, and now when we go in, it should give you. Ah, here's an ammo there. Did I not set any up? Yeah. see total novice we're just flying by see our see our panthers here We can't use shields so. or mustn't have a weapon he can use okay so is dagger not on there ah it's not why is it allowed him to select it if it's not in the weapon oh, never mind so <laughs> all right we're gonna have to quickly create one on there, why isn't it? Explains it. <laughs> Fly that. Right. So if we go to weapon now, hopefully, yeah. So, <laughs> yeah. Okay. You gotta make sure that the weapons roll in. So we've set our actors for that. Um, I think what we're going to do is leave it here for now. I but just to show you, hopefully, that's a death knell in as well. Edit 
for random encounters. Otherwise, I'll just get nothing. So we should see. Why isn't he coming up? <laughs> All right. Oh, I don't know why he's not coming up. didn't come up there. That should be the ones that show up. Uh, Starting the party actor. These are the individual stats for you. Um. Why? Uh, no, I'll push him. That's got a walking one. And basically to remove characters you just take them all out of here and I don't know why it's not showing anyone for Ah, there we go. 
Okay, so we're going there now. It must only display four on the screen. I'll have to change that. Um. So we haven't learned the summon spell yet. We have to put that on. Uh, I didn't assign blast, never mind. Uh. Just to make sure that he actually does show up. So we know that works. So yeah, there must be something set that only shows four items, four units, four fighters. It's a fighting screen. Well, we'll look at that next time. Anyway, thank you very much. That is how you do your characters. And we went through a little bit more than what intended to. But um, next time around, what we want to do is we are going to go through adding skills, items, weapons. Obviously, we're going to have to do that. Armors. <laughs> so we're going to go through these three. And in Junction, we're sorting out these as well, the extra classes, because we want to create them for the monsters. But we're going to need the weapons, the skills, the items, and everything set up as well. That against them, because uh, we do need to create a summoner. So it'll be summon kind of. Uh, the first one, Skelly, Summon, Dragon, Summon, oh, so you mean old dude, and so on. And I will be setting them up to bring them into the fight as well. And then we'll work on the battle screens, trying to get the extra guy on. That will be episode three, I think. But we'll work through what we can. Obviously, I don't want to make them too long, because there's a lot to go through. Um, well... Thank you very much, and we'll see you on the next episode.